Hello, everyone. My name is Mr. Blagan, and today I'm going to be walking you through ad hoc reporting through Infinite Campus. These reports you can run in order to get specific information on which students are failing which classes in any part or all of your school. Let's get into it. Here I am on the landing page of Infinite Campus. The first thing I need to do is come from instruction to the Campus Tools application. You may not have the same drop down selected as me, so let's start from the beginning. We need to come under student information. Select reports and activity eligibility. The reason we want this report specifically is because unlike many of the other reports, which just list in a long text or PDF file, we can run this as a CSV. So we can play with that in Excel or Google Sheets or however else you want to analyze your data. Now, for me, I'm just going to be specifically looking for a subset of my school, my true freshmen. That means students that are going to be graduating in 2026. I can select under ad hoc filter, graduation cohort 2026, and that will give me my true freshmen. I'm going to choose to get all four quarters worth of data. And I would like to know specifically which of my students have an F or a D minus. Now, the reason I'm choosing Fs and D minuses is because if you have two Fs, obviously you're not receiving credit. In my district, if you have a D minus and an F, you're not receiving credit for the semester. But if you have at least one D that semester and the teacher isn't giving a final exam, you are on track to get credit for that class that semester. So I'm mostly concerned right now with my students that are on track to matriculate and which are not. So we can specifically target the students who need that targeted intervention. I'm going to choose all grading tasks, but you can break this down, obviously, as uh, finally as you like. I'm going to generate this report. I just uploaded the CSV into Google Drive. I can now open it with Google Sheets. The reason I'm doing with that is so I can collaborate with my coworkers on this. Now, as raw data, uh, we can see some useful and some not so useful information here. What we're most concerned about is the courses and whether they've received credit for it or not. Um, we will be looking at their quarter grades as well as for the semester, we can see because they failed one quarter of math, and pass the other with a D minus, they did receive an F for the semester grade. Let me show you what this uh, can look like once you've cleaned it up. So this is my scrubbed version of the data. I've specifically been looking at students that are on track to matriculate through semester two. And we can see this student here has only failed one class during semester two. So we would need to make sure that they either pass the quarter four for math or that they complete a credit recovery option for that third quarter. This student might be worth more of our attention and time trying to get them across the finish line than say this student who has failed all four classes during the second semester. It also gives our administration and planning team some information such as how many total students that are not on track to matriculate as of right now and which classes the students are doing the most poorly in. Um, this is a lot easier to read once you've cleaned the data than it is to just look at a giant list of all the students who are failing a class. This is easier to crunch and to do data analytics on. Of course, you probably want to either scrub this manually, which I don't recommend, or create a pivot table. Once I do that, I will have a pivot table published, uh, linked in the description of this video, where you can just dump that raw CSV file and it will sort it all nicely for you across all four quarters uh, by class and by semester. So you can look at the data that's most important to you and your team. Hopefully this has been helpful and now you're ready to run your own report so you can get deep into that data. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.